wounded and tired, Ciri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Valon's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Right, here we go. Do you mind? I'm just about to do me entrance. You know what I mean? Me welcome speech. Inconsiderate. Anyway, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And burial ground in the caverns near about mid cops, and a heap of monsters roaming about it. How many times are you gonna be interrupted? Alright, go again. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Barker Gaming, and we're on another episode of The Witcher 3. Don't ask me why we went three, I don't know. <laughs> if you've not seen the previous episode, I shall put the link, top right corner. Go check that out. Um, we did hunt some witcher gear last episode, and we actually fought a witcher for the gear. So yeah, go check that out. So, what is did was off camera I decided to come back to the Baron's place because we're going to speak to this guy and see what Witcher gear we can do so let's ask him how may I assist you uh, need some armor made need some armor right okay so I'm guessing can we not put them on Items must be upgraded to the Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. Hmm. Required level 17. I don't think. I uh, no. Because uh, I'm guessing it's the feline army, is which we've got the uh, blueprints for. So, which is there, there. Um. Get rid of that. Gauntlets. 17. Yeah. They're all going to be 17. Yeah. Well, there we go. That's the end of that. Mind you. Um, game of Gwent. No, we're not playing Gwent just yet because I haven't got any cards. If I go buy some cards, which I'm sure I can buy some cards off. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Uh, what are you offering? Show me what you got. What you got? Uh, are these Gwent cards? Gwent card decoy. What have you got here then? North Guardian. Medium armor. Crossbow. I think I've got a crossbow to sell, aren't I? Crossbow. Yeah, that's not me newing. Uh, right, we'll sell that. There we go. Sold. Mace. Sell that. Don't need that. Um, four crowns, thirty-seven crowns. Yeah, I'm not selling any of them. What about the stuff we wore? So can we sell this? Because we don't really need this again. It was only for the funeral. Once it, I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. There we go. Hunting boots. Tracker's trousers. I think that's it, really. See ya. Okay. So, I think what we'll do now then is go meet Yennefer and let's see if we have to go tackle this giant. Let's see what happens. So, I'll reach the signpost at the bottom right and I shall see you over there. Do I look at all familiar, Master Witcher? My associate and me, you were kind enough to save us. 
from the very guards I myself had hired, no less. All right. Rings a bell now. Get to your destination, all right? We did. And we were lucky to, for the trade proved surprisingly robust. I've new goods now, if you're interested. Naturally, at a sizable discount, it's your due. Okay, let's have a look. Show me what you've got on offer. Uh, is that it? Required level 16. Okay, steel sword. Racing horse blinders. So he hasn't really got anything. So long. As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellig. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Okay. Uh, where are we? I've spawned in, not too sure where I am. Right, oh right, okay, so I was facing the wrong way. So we need to get on roach and go all the way over here. Roach! Come on, dude. Thank you. Let's go. I don't like the woods. I don't like the forest. <laughs> Even that scares me. What is that? Oh no, there's some it, scorpion Roach. things. Go, Roach. Go. Good of me. This is going to be absolutely full of all sorts. What is that? That was absolutely huge. There's actually people here. How would people actually survive the woods to get here? Oh, because of Jennifer. It's Jennifer, that's why. Yes. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the isles with us. Uh, what are you talking about? Sure, you're not overreacting. Uh, sure, you're not overreacting. Don't exaggerate. It's just no, Geralt. This is no just. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol. Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. Oh. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Yeah. Anyone ever used it? Obviously not Geralt. <laughs> Are you swimming now? No. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea. Near the Njord Trench. 
Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urbaraz's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Uh, trial to understand. Yeah, and she did it for Siri. We've got Krak's permission. Okay, we'll do that. Theft or no theft, Krak gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic taste hope here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Krak turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Third! Oh, uh, she's done it. What was that? No. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer assumes the mask. Silly woman. Could have at least waited. Where is she? Sorry. Sorry? There's not some guy. That's some guy in it. Where is she? Yanita! Yanita! Can't get through the tree. Fucking foglets. Oh shit. Great. Yeah. Come on, Yanifa! Ah! Oh, I'm using a steel weapon. Long sword. Ah! That was a bit uncool, but I thought there was only one. Where is it? Where is it? Fuck off! Ah! Fuck off! Oh, shot your head. Wait no. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yana. I saw the Foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Well, yeah, he is furious with you. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. I won't know. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Booga booga. You wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. <laughs> Gonna read my mind? Gonna read my mind again? You object? Uh, nope. You do it whenever you want anyway. No harm in it then, is there? Hmm. Let's go. Already found the first spot. Uh, quest item. You have a new quest item. Prepare to use it by placing it in an appropriate slot in the adventure panel, then selecting it from the quick access menu. I'm guessing it would have done that anyway. So what do we do? Oh, I'm first up taking the beer. How do we? Oh, well, I won. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I've drank the beer on top. This is the spot. The this one? Mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. Am I wearing it? Oh, there I go. I'm wearing it now. What the fuck's behind me? What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. Oh, yeah. Don't like him. Don't like him. Get you anything. Boom! Ah! Oh, it's two of them. Oh, shit. 
There's two of them. There's one of them. What have you dropped? Teeth. I take your teeth. Well, uh, ready? I'm gone. No, I'm gone. Oh, balls. Use the mask. I'm drunk again. Watch out! Bloody hell. What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Go then. Place is What's going to attack me now? I don't like it. Nor no. do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I'm still weapon. I know what you're thinking. I'm sick of these foglets, man. Siri can take care of herself. <laughs> no! Why put your sword away? <laughs> Punched it to the. Get your sword back out. Don the mask. Don the mask. Peekaboo! Ah, oh, that burst got injured. Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to. Valen. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Go ahead. Right next. Give me another foglet. Come on then. Well, ready? Use ready. the mask. Boop. Fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic and fled through a pork. A mage? Most likely. A mage. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? We don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Uh, let's see where the attacker landed. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? <laughs> Look at what you've brought down on us. We'll see what Krach has to say about this. He agreed to help us. Sure as hell shouldn't be angry. He agreed to help us. When he learns what's happened here. Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hmm. hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? <laughs> uh, we need to examine one more trail. I've got a feeling we've found something interesting. We just need to examine one more thing. This way it's going to go to pot now. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you? I can. Oh, body under the tree. Got it. Don't drop, Tommy. Thank you. It's a uh, wild hunt, isn't it? Looks too big. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword mix. Siri's friend must have. What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The oh. armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the wild. Hunt. There we go. What? There we go. So it's true. The wild hunt. I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But. Why? Uh, let's tell him. Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. Mm -hmm. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? 
which is why the wild hunt wants to capture her. Hmm. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Art Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders set the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Let's go together, right now. Wait, can't we go together, right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Yay. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on this girl. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. Zombies. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Zombies. And me, just save the game before we go any further. Um, oh, here we go. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. Then speak. Uh, there we go. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She's not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many. I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, so what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Craven. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvog. Morkvog? What's that? Morkvog. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. Curse? Oh. Monster? You've got some work to do. It's my speciality, killing monsters. I can rid you of Morkvarg. Okay. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg. Yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. But I've told you all I know. Can't kill him. With Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. 
Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Okay, so where's this garden? Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Okay, so... Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. Yes. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. That's like, ain't it true, Geralt? It's true, ain't it? Just agree with me, keep your mouth shut. Come on then. Don't get any way. Where we drunk. This trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. What was that? Suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with. I thought we were about to find out. Again, not again. Hmm. <laughs> Turning back human, I guess. No, okay. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. Shit, man. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily. Wolf. But Craven did. We just oh, they're all wolves, set. aren't they? He's a werewolf. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Blood stains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Hmm. Which is why you should stay up here. No. no offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Okay, that'll do. I expected you to object. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Hmm. Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown. How to sell Kaer Morin out from under you. Already. <laughs> okay. Uh, follow Craven's footsteps using the witch sense. Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trail's clear. Should lead me to him. Light prince. Craven trod carefully. Mm. So he's gonna be dead then, isn't he? Wrong sword. Wrong sword. Long spell. Get the fuck down. Um, we need to set stuff up by it. 
Right, okay, let's carry on. What's up? Ignite. It's a candle. We lit a candle. Oh, it's just a... No bite marks. Markvark doesn't need his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, you're up there. Hey, honey. Look at me. I'm being a big boy down here on my own. Oh, shit. I remember doing this. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking oh, around. Oh, that's good. Ah. How long are you going to make me wait? Get off. Get a fucking sword out. No, let's get the sword out. Thank you. Set the fuck it up by it. There we go. Mine. Uh, eat pepper. Right. So, examine. Blood. I was rudely interrupted. So that is right, Craven's blood. So we're dead then, isn't he? Craven's blood. Oh, we're gonna fight this big thing. We gotta fight this big thing. Craven's blood. Yeah, so you keep saying. What about this one? Craven was injured. Started running. Okay. He might still be alive then. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it. Or it's just locked. Gotta go round. What about you? Can we go in this one? Oh my god, I need a key for everything. Come on, up. Where's... Jan! Jennifer! Come on! Everybody! Uh, climb up the wall. No. We'll start to go in here. Oh man. It's like a slaughterhouse. I gotta stop doing that. Got to stop doing that. Okay, so that's locked. Is this side locked? Shite, man. No way going over. There is, I think. Can we go over this way? Uh, I don't think we can. <laughs> no. Okay. I think we gotta go this way. There's another doggy. And another doggy down here. And I missed the doggy. Got the doggy. Burn the doggy. Thank you. Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Well, at least we know he's not going to bite us. Take some flowers. Uh, I think we gotta go in the water. Nope, the ladder's here. Jeez. Up the ladders we go. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. So? Jeez. Jeez. Earth? Use. Mind you, the 
leaders have just gone back up again, haven't they? I know. Whee! There we go. Can't do that now. I just won't get up the bloody block. There we go. So the ladders we just jump up with. Alright, uh, there's no wolves here. I think we are good to go. One of my weapons are damaged. My steel sword. Oh, uh, yeah. Symbol of Freya. Wolfie. Wolfie. Alright, let's see if she No sign of feeding. Markvar doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Uh, well, he devoured that one. Oh, shit's behind me. Oh dear. Oh, it always grows back. <laughs> hey, handsome. I envy you. Wish to hear a story. Eh, <laughs> uh, I'll just kill you. Sure, why not? If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Locked me in here. Know ah. what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain, uh, and howling, I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? <laughs> you don't understand. <gasps> this was more. Uh, my mouth burned uh, like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn, <laughs> felt I would die, <laughs> but I I did it, <laughs> and then <laughs> I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs. <laughs> Of those playing heroes. Hmm. Ah! So do you have a point? Expecting pity. Don't piss him off. If we can try not piss him off. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. <laughs> the moral is. <laughs> You can't kill me. You cannot kill me. Oh, look, there we go. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. I'll break any fetters. Ah! The curse. Free me, or I'll return to get you again. There we go. There we go. Go on, you big fucker. That's easy to go. Oh, shit. After I said that, we got a couple of lucky fucking jobs. Why is he going red? What's he going red for? Oh, killed him already. Only now can I. Such is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, hmm. You've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. 
Undo, undo the cuffs. Free me. Finally, I will, I will reward you. Uh, don't like being a werewolf, do you? So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour turns to ash. Ash. I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. Ah. That's why he's not eating anybody then. The hunger is terrible. Ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns my throat. Throat. Like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip your limb from limb. Yeah, you can try. See what I can do. Let's help you. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Uh, feed, feeding more. Let's ask for Craven. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently, came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work out. Those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? Uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. I've shredded many. Hmm. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted, raided, drunk most away, all but one. True treasure, hid away, yours. Just help me. I like the voice acting for this guy. He's done it pretty well. Finish more vlog off feed. What do we do? What do we do? Fish? So what we do? Rotten flesh. He says he can't eat, so Let's see if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shite again! Uh. Let's finish. I don't want to finish him off. We've got to try help him on me. Farewell. See you soon. <laughs> ah, okay. So now he's died pretty much, but he will be back. I'll take my shit back. Thank you. Um. There's nothing lootable around here. What's this? Examine. I've already examined that answer. What's. Morkvark broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Right, so let's carry on quickly and have a look. I'm wondering if he'll well return while I'm still here. 
Wow, what we got down here? Craven's blood. In the store. What? Oh, he's in the well, is he? Roots. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Oh, well, can't you come down here with me? Can't see. Don't be any monsters down Craven's here. Craven's blood. Don't be any months down here, please. Oh, over to you. This will be him. Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Mm. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Oh, so she's going to uh, bring you back alive then, I guess. Level 16, get in. Oof. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. <laughs> uh... Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. I don't got time for that. Without the sarcasm. <laughs> I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Go on then. Bye. Let's get done. Let's get to work. Go on, dead man. Start talking. Selene, Selene, Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. Here we go. Come on then. Zombie. Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I have a I am We're looking for Sony, you died of battle. You've recovered your honey. You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. <laughs> a young woman, ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? Oh, it tickled me. She, she's wise. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. Speak!
Roger. With it. That'll be that craving guy, is he? Siri, Zirel, can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake, and I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Uh, help me up. Help... Help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... Let's talk more giving me a hand. Uh, beg your pardon? Ah, that's <laughs> me brother for you. I'd a sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. <laughs> Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. <laughs> girl... You was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Uh, I must get to Drowned Dead Rock. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drowned Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. <laughs> now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. Okay. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes, from very far away. Where exactly? Okay, oh, so nosy. Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Right. Stop talking to me. I'm gonna say me goodbyes. So there we are guys. That's the end of this episode. Uh tune in next time to find out what happens with Siri while she's at the sauna with Astrid. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this episode, smash the like button. If you have not seen the previous episode, go back and check that out. And then uh, come back and watch this. And then you're up to date, surely. So thanks again, and I shall see you all on the next episode. Cheers, guys.